Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Uh, last time we... What did we do last time? I'm not quite sure, but, um, I think we basically got registered and, um, went to the opening ceremony thing, and we battled our rival just here, actually. Uh, Hop straight up here, we did battle him, and then it was like, time to stop now. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're, we're at Motorstoke here, we've registered to do the, the gym challenge, so the first gym we have to go to is in Turf Field. Uh, if you look at the map here... Uh, we can see Motorstoke, which is where we are, is here. And here, it's kind of big on the map. Uh, we have to go through Route 3 and Route 4 to get to Turf Field. So, we're gonna go through Route 3 first, and we do that by going this way. Um, I'm not sure what to expect. If your precious Pokémon get injured, don't forget to heal them up with a potion. You need antidotes to fix up poison. Just remember to stock up on items and you won't have to visit Pokémon centers so often. Yeah, makes sense. Hello. Hello, friend. A wild stunky. Oh, look how cute. Go on, Cynthia, I know you can do it. What level are they? 12. Uh, let's try Pound. I want, I want to catch it. Mm. I don't know how much damage I need to do. I know, like, catching stuff is kind of easy in this game. Hmm. Let's just try throwing a ball now and see what happens. Use the Pokeball. Yeah, they're kind of easy. <laughs> stunky was caught. You got a stunky. Got some experience points. Cynthia grew to level 16. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Oh! Oh my goodness. What? Cynthia is evolving. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what the evolutions are yet. Oh, that's cute. Your Cynthia evolved into Drizzile. Like, like, it's a goth cutie now. Highly intelligent, but also very lazy. It keeps enemies out of its territory by laying traps everywhere. Stunky's data will be added to the Pokédex. If it lifts its tail and points its rear at you, beware. It's about to spray you with a fluid stinky enough to make you faint. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a nickname. Uh, let's see. Uh, Venus symbol, so... Hmm... Terence. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. Terence. There we go. <laughs> Is that a Zigzagoon? Yes! Give me a Zigzagoon! A wild Zigzagoon! Go on, Cynthia, I know you can do it. I don't know if I need to damage him first or not, but let's just do a little bit. That was a lick, that wasn't a pound. Wom, 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 wom. Rude. I'm just gonna try to the ball again. It'd probably work from what I've seen. Womp. 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 Click. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Da -da 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 Copernicus leveled up. Zigzagoon data will be added to the Pokédex. Thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon, it moves in zigzags and wreaks havoc up on its surroundings. Yes, I'll give a nickname. Uh... Hmm. Stardust. Your name will be Stardust. There we go. Send to a box, please. Stardust has been sent to a box. Ba -ba -ba -da. Do you want to fight? Yeah, let's fight. You saw the opening ceremony, right? Then you know why I'm excited and want to battle. Hell yeah. Look how happy she is! 
We got Vulpix. Oh, it's Vulpix. I love you, Vulpix. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to, like, completely own you now. Sorry, Vulpix. Pressing Vulpix to his quick attack. Good move. Since he used Water Pulse. Yeah. Super effective. I'm sorry, Ray. Level 14. Level, level 12. You defeated Last Ray. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no, sweetie. I feel so bad. What have I done? I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Last Ray. I'm going to participate in the gym challenge next year. <gasps> Hello. It's a Growlithe. Hi, Growlithe. Let's go, let's catch you in. Oh, you have Intimidate. That will lower my attack. That's cool. Hmm, I'll try a water gun, but I have a feeling that'll kill you. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it did. Oh, well. I'll catch another one later. Pokemon gained experience points. I was hoping it'd be like not powerful enough to kill, but it, it was still powerful enough to kill. You found three heal balls. Oh, cool. That's handy. That's good to have. Uh, I don't need one of you. I already caught a Zigzagoon. Cynthia used water pulse. Do, 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 do. You survived? That's just rude. <laughs> there we go. Gained experience points leveled up. Ba -da -ba. Charles grew to level 13. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> well, I'm only seeing Zigzagoon in there now. Hello, child. I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. Huh. Same. I mean, I studied some of those, like, ages ago, but I can relate. <laughs> Oh, oh look, oh look, it's Pancham! Pancham's cute. Uh, I try Water Pulse? I don't know what type Pancham is, actually. Well, it confused them. Didn't really have any effect on the battle whatsoever, but it happened. <laughs> Raising Pancham fainted. Experience points. Why do what these like wild encounter people not have more than one Pokemon? What? I lost. My Pokemon savvy wasn't enough. Yeah, yeah. Hannah, you need to have at least two Pokemon. So when I when I make one of them faint, you can send something else out. Ideally, you should have six. Like, like, that's, that's the number you're supposed to have. Cause that's how this, this, this whole system works. Is that a Growlithe? Yes, it's a Growlithe! Give me that. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna use a water move on you. Uh, I will try to weaken you, but I'm gonna use my normal move. Um, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's, that's gonna work. Oh, you know Bite? Nice. Bite was a really important move for me in Gen 2. I had uh, for Alligator, or Totodile, as it was once known, and yeah, yeah, Bite, I used a lot. I played a lot of Gen 2. It's very special to me. Click. Gotcha, Growlithe was caught. Pokemon gained experience points. Ba 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 da ba 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 
Ba -ba -ba -da Pokedex, ba -ba -ba. Quietless Theater will be added to the Pokedex. Extremely loyal. We'll fearlessly block at any opponent to reject his own trainer from harm. Give it a nickname. Yes. Okay, Mars symbol again. Uh, Gareth. Because that sounds very similar to Growlithe. And it's a name. <laughs> That's my logic. <laughs> Okay, I can see some sort of leafy but Oh, is that Trubbish? Trubbish! It's Trubbish. Yes. I love you, Trubbish. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I don't know what type you are. Uh, I'll try Pound. Clear Smog. Oh, that's damaging move, okay. My stat chain just removed. Uh, I'll try Water Gun. I want to figure out what type you are. Well, you're in red now. That's good. Amnesia? What does that do? Oh, it ups your special defense. Okay. I don't understand why. Use the Pokeball. Give me that rubbish. Give me that garbage bag. I want a friendly garbage bag on my team. Yeah. Trubbish was caught. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Raphael grew to level 15. Natalie grew to level 13. Copernicus grew to level 13. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm actually taking quite a bit of damage to my main Pokemon here because of all this catching I'm doing. This Pokemon was born from a bag stuffed with trash. Galarian wheezing relish the fumes belched by Trubbish. Yes, I will give Trubbish a nickname. Stop drifting, Joy-Con. Uh, let's see. We've got a Mars symbol there. I think I actually said it was a Mars symbol before, but it was a Venus symbol. Now it's a Mars symbol. Uh, Trucy. As in, Trucy Wright. As in, I love that character and not really that game. Uh, you get a box for now. There we go. I caught you, Trucy. Da -da -do, da -da -do. I am running a bit low on health. Well, hang on. Hang on. What's that? What's that flower? Hello, flower. <gasps> Gossy, Gossy Fleur? I have a friend. I feel like you're probably grass type, so I'm going to use Water Pulse because it should theoretically be not very effective against you. Yes, that's perfect. Yeah, you sing, that's great. Yeah, just, just sing to me. Uh, sing me to sleep, that's the way. Yeah. I'm probably gonna fly back to a Pokemon Center. Uh, once I've caught this, this, uh, plant friend. There we go. Wibble wobble. Wibble wobble. Jelly on a plate. Click. <laughs> Chug, gossip love was caught. Ba -ba -ba, you can get experience points. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. No one leveled up. But we get to add this Pokemon to my Pokedex. Gossip Flores data will be added to the Pokedex. It whirls around in the wind while singing a joyous song. It's a delightful display was charming to be into raising this Pokemon. Hey, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> yes, you're gonna have a nickname. You will be Geraldine. Yeah, that's the Mars symbol. So yeah, Geraldine. Perfect. There we go. Geraldine has been sent to a box. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna fly back to the Pokemon Center now. So let's, uh... I already have fly because this game gives it to you super early. So I can just do this. This is what flying looks like, by the way. Nothing. <laughs> uh, it actually shows a little Corby Knight in the corner as a little loading screen. If it happens to need to. But it was really fast that time, so you didn't get to see anything. I don't know why it was so fast. It took longer when I tried it earlier in the game. Like, off-screen, just to see what happened. Ba -ba -ba Thanks for waiting, Drizzile, and the rest of your team should be here all better now. We hope to see you again. Thank you. Hey, you right this games. Did I remember nickname everyone? I think I did. Yeah, looks like it. Cool. That's that, um, you can change nicknames with this person here as well. So that's cool. Alright, let's head back out to Route 3. Now that we're a little stronger and a little... 
Uh, more Pokemons caught. I can see me in the corner going, yay, I caught this and th that and the other. It's pretty cute. Uh, hang on, something sparkling over here. A big mushroom? A large and very rare mushroom. Very, a very large and rare mushroom, sorry. Read that backwards. Uh, I already have one of you, Growlithe. Uh, Trubbish, Zigzagoon. I think I have most of the stuff in this area at this point. What's this sign say? Trainer tips. You can set up camp on routes and your Pokemon can experience points from camping. Try visiting other people's camps too when you find tents along your way. You found a burn heal. Okay, I can see something good up there, but I can't reach it. Hmm, I need to come around from the other side or something. Uh, I already have one of you. I uh, would like to fight you, please, trainer. Hello. Oh, instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. I'll have to check how strong you are. You were challenged by Schoolboy Barbed. Schoolboy Marvin sent out Budu. Oh, it's Budu. Look at that cutie. Okay, so Budu, that's grass type, so. I should probably not use Water Pulse? Hmm. Let's give it a try. Because on a much higher level, it might be enough damage to work. Ooh. Ooh, Absorb's gonna be super effective. Hmm. And it heals a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I'll try Pound. Hopefully, that's enough. It's gonna do less damage, obviously. Or, you know, be a less damaging move to begin with. But it'll be the right type, so it shouldn't get uh, debuffed by the type disadvantage. Hang on, you have two Pokemon? That's not fair. I have six. <laughs> okay, experience points. Bloop. Uh, Gossifler. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch Pokemon. Let's try someone else. What have I got? Um, I haven't got anything with fire, which would be the ideal type to use. Wow, Eevee has terrible moves right now. I need to work on that. Um, let's try a Raphael. That's, I don't remember if flying is good against grass or not, but we'll see how we go. I can never remember the type disadvantages and stuff. Alright, you're a Rookie D. I forgot. Cute. Super effective. Well, I chose, no, I chose well by accident. It's super effective. Leafage. It's not very effective. Goodbye, Gossifla. Supposing Gossifla fainted. Sorry, babe. Pokemon gained experience points. Charles grew to level 14. You defeated Schoolboy Marvin. Youch! Your Pokemon are way too strong. You got 720 for winning. Let's have a look at my. I want to make sure that it didn't like swap the order of my Pokemon in the in the listing here. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah. It makes sense, but I thought it might have done. Hey, a gym challenger. You looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. Oh, but where's Hop? Uh, he went on ahead. He was going the same way as me. He can't sit still at all, can he? Guess he really wants to catch up to his brother. Oh, I know. Let me talk about something a bit interesting. See that building over there? It's company owned by Chairman Rose. Oh no, it's polluting. Just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up ore. That building over there processes it into energy. So that's a coal-fired power station, right? Like, that's what the ore is, it's coal. In other words, the chairman is responsible for providing the Galar region with its energy, too. Can't, really, can't say I really get him, but the chairman seems like a pretty brilliant get guy, right? Here, a little something for having a chinwag with me. It's an escape rope. 
you obtained an escape rope. Put the escape rope in your bag's key. Oh, it's a key item. Okay. A long and durable rope. Use it to escape instantly from locations like caves or dungeons. It can be used any number of times. That's new. In the older games, escape ropes were consumable and you had to buy a bunch of them. I'll heat up your Pokemon too. Oh, thanks, Sonia. I should probably have just done that instead of, like, going back to the Pokemon Center. The way the turf field is pretty long, but that's a kind of challenge in its own right. Good luck, Gym Challenger. Thanks, Sonia. I love you. Okay, I'm guessing we can't go this way because of the fence. Yeah. Oh, sparkles. You found a revive. Uh, okay, I think that's a new Pokemon. I don't think I have any of these. Yeah, I don't have any of those yet. Um, let me just go this way and uh, grab this. TM37 beat up. Alright. Um, let me go talk to this berry tree. Gets all party Pokemon to check the target. The more party Pokemon, the greater number of attacks. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I want to shake the berry tree. Let's get shaken. Uh, I'm going to give it some more shaking. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I was immediately attacked by a Squavit. Hello, Squavit. Go on, Cynthia. I know you can do it. Oop. Oop. We're getting some drift. Yeah, this Joy-Con isn't feeling so great. I don't know why. This one hasn't taken much abuse, so... Mm. I think it's just a thing they do. Well, Squirrel, it used Tail Whip. Cynthia's defense fell. Oh, that's a good, that'll do you. I'm just gonna lick you. There we go. Goodbye, Squavit. Okay, on, gained experience points. Peter grew to level 14. Ba -ba -ba -da. Oh. Oh, I only got one person berry. That's a bit of a waste. I'll fight you. Hello. Were you thinking of passing through without even looking at my Pokemon? No, I, I came up to you to say, let me see your Pokemon. You were challenged by a schoolgirl, Kaylee. Kaylee? Kaylee. Go, Kaylee sent up Purloin. It's a kitty. It's a bipedal kitty. It's Garfield. Do you hate Mondays, Purloin? Supposing Purloin fainted. Three points. Level 18, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Got Squabbit. No, I won't switch my Pokemon. So I'm out Squabbit. Water Pulse. Win or lose, I don't mind. I just wanted to show off my Pokemon. Oh, well, that's good. I like seeing them. Thank you. Thank you for showing me your Pokemon. I appreciated it. Okay, there's a cop up there, so I don't want to go that way. But I think I have to. Uh, first, let's talk to this Roly Coley. This is a very strange Pokemon. I feel like it might be, it's probably rock type, so I won't use my water attacks, because I want to catch one. It's not very effective. Okay, it's strong against normal. Does that make it mean it's dark? I think it's dark. Hmm, I'll just try throwing a ball now and see if it will work. Use the Pokeball. Wibble. Wobble. Jelly on a plate. Click! Heck yeah. Rolly Coley was caught. You Pokemon gained experience points. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. No one leveled up. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 Rolly Coley's data will be added to the Pokedex. It can race around like a unicycle, even on rough, rocky terrain. Burning coal sustains. Okay, now it's rock type. It's rock straw against normal type. I didn't know that. Uh, your name will be Rachel. There we go, Rachel. 
Where do you want to send Rachel to? Send to a box. Rachel has been sent to a box. Okay, I have one of you now, so I don't need another one. So I'll ignore both of you. I guess I should fight this cop. I'll show you what I carry. Oh, it's not a cop. It's a post office worker. Oh, that's much better. I'll show you what I carry. Letters and victory. You were challenged by Postman Tad. Oh, oh, I love you now. Look at that cute face. Oh, I feel so much better now knowing you're a cop. Oh, and you've got Santa Claus bird. Oh, wow. That's all you've got, though. You should have more than one Pokemon. Especially because I can just do that. Experience points. Yeah. Raphael could level 16. Move pluck? Yeah, probably. Um, let's have a look. What's pluck? The user pecks the target. If the target is holding a berry, the user eats it and gains its effect. That sounds pretty good. Uh, I might replace peck because it's also flying type and it's a better move. Although it has less PP. Hmm. I might drop home claws actually because it's a status move. And I already have a, like, a good move that does dark type stuff. One, two, and ta-da! Raphael forgot home claws, and it learned pluck instead. Now they go to level 14. Caponix grew level 14. Learned protect. Nice. You defeated Postman Tad. Turns out I was carrying your victory. You got one, three, four, four for winning. That's a lot of poker yen. Actually, it's not. It's a decent amount of poker yen. Letters filled with thoughts and emotions. One must carry them gently. I really like you, actually. I'm sorry I thought you were a cop. It's just it's just the hat. It's really just the hat. Oh, a camper. Hello. If you want to heal up your Pokemon, there's nothing like setting up your camp and cooking them a good meal. Here, you can add this berry to the pot. You obtained a cherry berry. Put the cherry berry in your bag's berries pocket. If you ever come across a tent, check it out and join the camp whoever set it up. If you'd like, you're open to visit my camp too. It's this one right here. I'd love to. You're cute. You found Becca's Pokemon camp. Would you like to pay them a visit? Heck yeah, let's go. Let's go camping with Becca. In your Pokemon camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together, growing closer through the experience. If your Pokemon grow very close to you, they may even try extra hard for you during battle. You can play using your Joy-Con too. If you slide your Joy-Con off your system, you can wave one about to throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve, or wave a Poke Toy for their delight. If you waggle that Poke Toy, you may even entice Pokemon hanging out farther back in your camp to come play. When you set up camp in the wild area, you'll be able to play with up to three other trainers at a time. All kinds of people and Pokemon might stumble upon your camp, even those you've never met before. So get to know them as you play together. Oh, this looks cute. Look, Yamper and Volpix are making friends. Oh my gosh. Hey, Wooloo, I don't have one of those. I need one. I'm gonna catch a Wooloo if that's okay. Hey, Volpix, I've got a toy. So yeah, I'm just, uh like shaking the Joy-Con around right now, and yeah, it moves around. Oh my gosh. Did you just attack me? Oh my gosh. Cute. <laughs> uh, let's try cooking. I haven't, I haven't done any of this. Let's have a look. Cook up a fine curry while out camping by selecting ingredients and berries of your liking. Your curries will get more delicious if you choose to do things like using rare ingredients or adding lots of berries too. Once you start cooking, fan the flames with your fan to keep things hot enough, and stir things up with your ladle to keep them moving. Only don't go over the board, you don't want to spill. The last help you added a bit of soul into it just the right timing, and you'll have made a masterpiece for Pokemon to enjoy. After you finish cooking, it's time for everyone to dig in together. Eating a tasty curry can have a number of effects on the Pokemon that are at your camp, including restoring their HP and making them feel more friendly toward you. Uh, I want to cook. Let's try it out. Yes, let's cook with Becca. Let's start cooking. Please select a berry. Okay, I gotta pick a berry. Uh... Let's try a Petra berry. That sounds easy. Maybe a spicy cherry berry? 
Hmm. Might try Petra Berry. Uh, one? Uh, and one of these? And I guess one of these as well? Like that? Is that, is that okay? I don't know. Ready. Yes. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Again, that stuff's the curry powder or whatever. Okay, so I'm just like shaking my Joy-Con right now. You can also just press the A button if you want. Yeah, you can either mash the A button or shake the Joy-Con around. Looks like fun. Okay, fan into the flames. Okay, so here you can either move this in a circle or you can spin the right stick in a circle, which also works. I'm guessing I want to try to sync it up with that one. I'm seeing that might be that might be Becker's. I don't know. Pew, pew. I don't know if I did it well or not. I hope that was right. Done. Cook, 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 cook. Spicy burger steak curry. Um. <gasps> um, nom, 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 nom. Taste rating, Wobbuffet class. Your Pokemon's HP is restored by half. Your Pokemon gained a few EXP points. Cynthia and the rest of your party got friendly toward you. Is Wobbuffet class good? I have no idea. <laughs> Come here, Wooloo. <laughs> roll, roll, roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Angry eyebrows. Yeah, boom. <laughs> this is super cute. Man, I can change toys. <gasps> a ball, a ball. Do you fetch? Oh, my gosh. Volpix got it. You gonna give it back to me? Oh my gosh. I love you, Volpix. Oh my gosh. I actually throw it with more force than that. Did it like hold down the button maybe? Hmm. Yeah, that's how you do it. You hold down the button for a little bit longer. This is really cute. Thank you, Volpix. I don't know if that's my Vulpix or if it's Becker's. I forget if I have a Vulpix. <laughs> Cute. Okay, I guess I'm done camping for now. There we go. Some experience points. Not a lot, but you know, it's better than nothing. And they got healed as well, so that's cool. Um, okay, we're a bit past half an hour now, so I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here. Um, if we look at the map, we can see how far we are throughout three, probably. Apparently I can fly to this part of Route 3. Interesting. At least I can fly somewhere in Route 3. I don't know if that's to this camp or somewhere else. Um, I'll try flying there and see if it's, I'm already there, maybe? Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, it took me right to this camp, so I guess I have a shortcut. Neat. Um, I think I want to check Mystery Gift, but um, I'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Um, so yeah, that's actually yeah, like that gave you a bit of an idea about camping and stuff, which is a feature that this game adds. Um, I think the cooking mini game is a bit silly, but. Anything that lets you, like, interact with Pokemon and see them being cute is, is a win in my book. Pokemon Ami and Pokemon Refresh and all that sort of stuff was great for exactly the same reason. And this is essentially the equivalent in this game, so that's cool. <laughs> Bye!